and welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we're taking a look at the new Just Stitching Stars dies. These dies will cut two lines of stitching detail for each of these stars, and that tiny star in the middle will cut one little stitching detail. So these will not cut out the shapes, they'll just add that stitching detail to the background. For the first card, I want my stars to be concentric, so I'm actually going to use them before I cut them apart. But you could easily do the same technique by stacking your stars inside each other and holding them together with a long piece of tape across the back. I have a piece of watercolor paper here and I'm just going to tape them in place. Like I said, if they were separate, use a long piece. And I'm going to run this through my die cut machine so that I get that stitching detail of those stars on my background. I'm going to be doing some watercoloring to create my background. So I've got some distress inks here in worn lipstick, dried marigold, scattered straw, twisted citron, peacock feathers, and shaded lilac. So I'm going to make a rainbow on top of these stars here. I've just smushed those onto my craft mat here, and I'm going to add a little bit of water to each one to create my own little rainbow palette here. I'm adding some clear water to the background so that these will move around. So I'm just going to drop the colors into that clear water that I already put on the paper. I'm going to be doing this in a lot of layers. I don't watercolor that often, so this is a learning process for me sometimes. So you're going to get to go along on this little watercolor adventure with me. And as I worked my way around, I realized I kind of didn't leave a lot of room for my cool colors up there for my purple and I had too much water and they started to get a little muddy so I'm just going to dab that away with my paper towel and then I'm just going to add some more layers so this was the working of all these layers to get the colors that I wanted so you can see that first layer is extremely pale and light and now I'm just going in with those colors again right on top of the layers I've already done and I'm adding some more of that ink I did decide as I did this that my scattered straw and my dried marigold were not different enough in color. That just looked like all yellowy orange down in that bottom left corner. And so I'm actually going to add in some mustard seed just to make the yellow a little brighter. I actually think that the mustard seed I added in there blends a lot better with the twisted citron that's right next to it. I'm just continuing to put ink on my craft mat as I need it and pick it up with water. A little less water and I'm getting more concentrated color. And I'm just working all these colors around the star until I get it looking the way I want it. And I like how those colors go into that stitching detail too and get a little bit darker. So I just hit that with my heat tool to dry everything and then I wanted to add some gold metallic splatters to this to give it some shimmer and some interest and so I'm trying to keep those splatters mostly on top of my watercolor. I don't want to splatter the entire background. I just want to keep it on this focal point that I've created in the middle of my card. Now that my background's all finished I'm going to stamp my sentiment and I'm stamping a sentiment from Unicorn Picnic that says have a magical day. I'm just going to put it in my Misty tool and stamp it down so I know that it's nice and straight and I can put a little extra pressure or re-stamp if I need to because I'm on that watercolor paper that has a little bit of texture to it. Now I'm going to add this whole panel to a card base and I'm putting a lot of adhesive on it because it's a little warped from all the water and the heating that I did so this will help it lay flat once it's on this card base. So now that I have that on my card, I can start to decorate it with the images that I've already colored and cut out with my coordinating dies. So I'm using images from Unicorn Picnic, and I'm going to start and base everything on that long cloud that comes in the set. So I'm just putting a piece of foam tape across the back of that long cloud, and this is going to be sort of the ground for all my other little elements that I'm going to add.
I stamped this cloud in narwhal ink and now I'm going to add my little unicorn that I've colored in rainbow colors to match my background. And I decided to add a little bit of gold to her as well so she matches the background so I'm just picking up that same color gold that I used on the background and I'm adding a little bit to her horn and the hooves. So now there's a little bit of shine on my unicorn as well. And then I've got some treats colored here also in those same rainbow colors that my background is. I've got a donut, that cute little banana split, and then I colored a piece of rainbow cake. Finally, I'm going to add that cute little fairy using a foam square so she's popped up off the background just like my unicorn and my other pieces. And then I went in with some stardust stickles and added some glitter to her wings and to the hearts on top of the banana split and the cake. And then also to the sprinkles on the donut. And then here is that finished card. I love the background. I'm glad I stuck with it because watercolor is not always my thing, but I just love how it turned out. So for my second card, I'm going to use a sentiment from the Lucky Star stamp set, and I'm going to frame it up in the center of my card with one of those just stitching stars around it. So you can see I'm taping that star in the center of this panel, and that's where my sentiment is going to go. Then I'm going to use the other stars to scatter around to create a subtle pattern on the background. And I'm doing this before I do the inking that I'm going to do so that that ink will catch on those die cut details and make them stand out even more. So I've run that through my die cut machine and you can see I've cut those stars that were already on there. And then I'm just going to take them and move them around using all the different sizes, scattering them around so that they go off the sides of the panel. And I'm going to continue this until I get the look that I want from all those stars. So once I have this background designed the way I want it with all those just stitching star details, I'm going to run it through my die cut machine with the largest of the outside end stitched rectangles so that I have a panel that's slightly smaller than my card base and has a nice stitching detail around the outside. Now I can start doing some ink blending on my background. So what I wanted to do is have a glowing star in the center where my sentiment is. So I'm starting with some squeezed lemonade ink and I'm just going around right in the middle of that star. Now I'm going to go in with tumbled glass ink, which is a very light blue, and I'm going to put a layer across the whole background, pulling it from the outside towards the center where that glowing star is. So I'm just going to fill in all that white with that blue up to the edge of my yellow glow. You can see how that ink sort of catches in those details that the die cut created and makes them stand out even more. Now that I've got a layer of that tumbled glass on the whole background coming up to that glow, I'm going to go around the outside edges with some salty ocean using my blending brush to just darken that up. So I'm going from the glowing star in the middle out towards a darker background. That is the look I'm going for. So I don't want to go all the way up to the yellow. I'm sort of leaving a line around it of that tumbled glass. And you can see with this darker blue that those stitching lines stand out even more. And then finally I'm going in with Chip Sapphire, which is a very, very dark blue, and I'm just doing those corners. So to just darken up those edges so that it really defines the edges, and this whole panel will pop off that white note card that I'm going to stick it on. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp my sentiment in the center. And I just love this sentiment that says, I love you to the stars and back. This is one of my favorite stamp sets. 
And then I also decided I was going to add some gold flecks to this to give that shimmer of a starry sky. But I took my block and I laid it back over my sentiment so that the speckles did not get on my sentiment. And it was nice and clean in the middle where my glow is. And all those gold flecks were out on the outskirts in that dark blue. I also am adding some darker stars. This is stamped with a tiny outline star that's also in the Lucky Star stamp set. And I'm using Blue J ink just to stamp a few of those around. It gives even more depth to the background, I think, by having these darker stars filled in in there. And now I'm going to use some foam tape and put this on my card base. So it's popped up a little bit off the card base, and I'm going to have that nice, really thin white border around it. And then finally, to finish it off, I have some liquid pearls here in a yellow color, and I'm just going to add some dots of those around in my stars. I love that shimmer when the light hits that gold. It's just so pretty. Let's take a look at some more examples from the design team. I love Audrey's card and how she framed up that cute little rocket and clouds with those stars in her background. I love Elena's custom sentiment and how she paired these stars and the background with the Out of This World stamp set. And then Elise used the stars to make a background with some ink blending much like I did and that sentiment really pops. Tammy also had a space theme card, and I just love those little mice that she paired with out of this world planets. Letitia created this beautiful rainbow background with those stars, and I love the simple sentiment that just really pops in the center. And then Grace used the stars as a guide and watercolored the background and made this super cute shaker card. I just love those little mice she added. Thanks for watching. Have an amazing day. Bye.